that we wanted to try to explain a little bit and help you to uh, get a hold of is what we're calling our quests. And these are, it's a, it's a list of skills and abilities that you will acquire, we hope, throughout the course. And we're providing um, in kind of an organized way to show us, for you to demonstrate that you have achieved some of these things. These aren't like, okay, today I'm going to do this and tomorrow I'm going to do that. Rather, you can show us within some of the other larger assignments that you have uh, accomplished a number of these things. For example, one of the, one of the quests talks about um, embedding a Google presentation on your digital portfolio. Well, there's another one that talks about um, understanding digital citizenship. So within the, the preparation of your, of your Google presentation, it might be about digital citizenship, and then you're putting that on your digital portfolio, which satisfies several of these different learning quests that we're talking about. And there's lots of things that you'll have the opportunity to do like that. These are kind of, um, as we've said, they're, they're skills, but they're not, um, these are things that you're just going to end up doing every day. Um, and if you think about it that way, rather than, it, they're not big projects, but they are components that will fit into the big projects that you do in the course. Yeah, totally. I just want to emphasize that a lot of those things are just going to come out naturally in what we do in class, and it's not going to be an extra thing that you do. So we've got uh, 60 some things, but it's not 60 assignments. It's, you know, feel free to say, hey, I did 10 things in, in one activity. And as, as you just go through what we do in class and you go down the list, you're like, hey, we did that. Hey, we did that. So it's just a matter of submitting some evidence that you did those things. So it hopefully won't be any big deal, and you don't have to do them all. Uh, give you a little bit of choice. You only have to do 80% of them. So if you're like, that doesn't really interest me or, or something, you don't have to do that one. Do something else. So hopefully you'll really enjoy the tasks and, and feel like you came away from the class knowing a lot of things. That's a good point that Alice just brought up. You don't have to do them all. And the other thing is you may end up realizing, oh, I did 10 of them yesterday. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with a real easy way to keep track of those using a, uh, a Google spreadsheet to where you can actually monitor what you've done and provide us with evidence on an ongoing basis of what you're doing. So it's not something you have to hurry up and do at the end of the class. These are things that we expect you to keep track of as we go along. And you should, be do you should realize that you're doing probably um, five to ten of these every week. For sure, at least. Uh, it, it